have joined us today on this momentous occasion to help celebrate excellence and innovation as we recognize and honor four Richmond Hill companies and their staff. These companies are leaders in their field and leaders in bringing groundbreaking technologies and innovations to the world. I would like to direct your attention to the screen for a very brief presentation. to the Center for the Performing Arts in York Region. I say that in front of everybody from all over the region, but I always make sure that you're aware. If, you, if this is your first time here, we ask why it's only your first time here, and we invite you to come back many, many times. And uh, This program was created to recognize incredible companies and their talented staff, which is you folks today. Because of companies such as yours, the Richmond Hill is part of the largest technology cluster and in a place where innovative companies want to be, as we know, in that 404 quarter. The highest number of graduates in engineering, science, and math per capita, and the highest educated workforce in Canada residing here in Richmond Hill. Our local companies access the talent they need to continue to create the innovations that change the world, and we are very thrilled to be honoring four special companies today. I do want to introduce members of council that have joined us. Uh, Ward 5, sorry, <coughs> Ward 5 Councillor Karen Silovitz. And Ward 6 Councillor Godwin Chan, who is chair of our... Thanks to Hi, Mark. Our next... A Planix Corporation. 
Born from advanced positioning technology expertise in 1991, Aplanix is now one of the industry's most recognized developers of inertial and GPS GNS solutions for mobile mapping. Since day one, research and innovation have been at the heart of Aplanix's business model. They have revolutionized worldwide survey and mapping with the first mobile mapping solution in 1994. Acquired by Trimble Inc. in 2003, today Aplanix's continuing innovation is instrumental in transforming the transportation sector as it moves towards autonomous vehicles. Their position and orientation systems have become the world's industry standard for airborne, land, marine, and indoor mobile survey operations. With a global reach, unequaled engineering excellence, and worldwide 24-7 customer support, Aplanix leads the world in high productivity in motion surveying, direct data georeferencing, and robust mobile mapping bringing new ideas to fruition in products for positioning and orientation is what they do and their talented people make it possible to contribute to their customers success the aplanix team is made up of accomplished individuals with diverse backgrounds working to transform the way the world works accepting the innovators of the year award for aplanix is president steve wolven Thank you. Let me give you just just a, a couple of short words here. Planix started in 1991 with only seven employees, and of those seven employees, two of the original uh, people of those seven are here today. One of them being one of the founders, uh, Bruno Scherzinger. Today, Aplanix is part of a multinational company. Uh, we're over 10,000 employees. We have customers in 150 company, uh, countries. We have offices around the world, but I'm really thrilled to say that the head office for our division is right here in Richmond Hill. <laughs> this award really belongs to you guys, and, and there's a large member of the team here today to We've got a fantastic group of employees and the culture that we developed over the last 27 years. That culture of innovation, of, of entrepreneurship has led us down some really interesting paths. Some paths have been really successful, I guess, you know, as evidenced by this. <laughs> some paths, well, I guess we might say that the, the world hasn't quite caught up with our vision of the future. <laughs> so let me say, on, on, we've been part of the Richmond Hill community now for 18 years. Let me say on behalf of all the uh, employees here, I uh, want to thank the town of Richmond Hill, I want to thank the economic uh, development team for all their support over the years, our mayor, uh, uh, Dave Barrow. Um, I also want to recognize the other three companies here today. We are definitely in, in rarefied air. So uh, congratulations team, this is for you. Nicely done. of the year award go to High Bar Systems Limited. Founded in 1974, High Bar Systems Limited is a privately owned high technology Canadian company specializing in the design and manufacturing of custom automated machinery and precision liquid dispensing systems used by many of the world's most recognized producers of consumer goods. High Bar is also well known globally in the battery business supplying state-of-the-art, high-speed battery manufacturing equipment and technology to the largest consumer battery manufacturers. With over 95% of sales being export-based, Hybar has established a worldwide reputation for technical innovation with qual and quality with a large, impressive international customer base in industries such as food, cosmetic, pharmaceutical, and technical industries. With an impressive technology-based por patent portfolio, the most valuable marketing tool Hybar has is their ability to innovate and embrace leading technologies into the machines and systems that they develop for their customers. 
to facilitate innovation and to provide their company with the ability to move quickly from concept to prototype to production, High Bar has been purpose purposefully structured in a vertically integrated fashion, incorporating all of the necessary disciplines for equipment ideation, conceptualization, mechanical and electrical design, parts manufacturing, software development, and system testing all under one roof. This provides High Bar with the unique ability to work with their global customer base through their own product development stages and efficiently taking them from laboratory scale to full scale production. High Bar's greatest asset is their dedicated team of employees. High Bar fosters a culture of empowerment and innovation, continually reinvesting in product development strategies and especially their diverse workforce, nurturing a tremendous sense of accomplishment for all involved in High Bar's success. Accepting the Innovators of the Year Award for High Bar is CEO Ian McCall. Who's paparazzi? On behalf of the High Bar team, um, just a, just a very few words. Um, I will say that you know Richmond Hill has been the home for High Bar since uh, before 1982. We have the prestigious uh, plaque in our lobby that shows that High Bar was the first building in the cow pasture in 1982, which is now the uh, West Beaver Creek Business Park. Um, from that time, High Bar has grown from uh, probably 30 to 40 strong to 170 employees today. We have offices in five countries. Last year, 99% of our revenues were based on exports. So. Uh, we're deeply rooted here in Richmond Hill, but everything we do is export. Um, just one quick statistic, uh, one of the projects that we're working on right now, which is uh, being shipped to China. Um, Sasha, you're here, you can help me with the stats, but I believe we counted up 52 full-size shipping containers of industrial automated equipment that was designed and built here in Richmond Hill, sent to, sent to China over the last year. So I think to the High Bar team, that's it. So I just want to say thank you so much to uh, the business development team of Richmond Hill and Mayor Barrow. It's great to have you back. <laughs> now that the election is over, and, and you, uh, the councillors. So uh, thank you so much. We'll, uh, we'll put this one up in our lobby. Thank you. LiPad Technology is a leading company in the development of IoT or Internet of Things products and solutions. Founded in 1999 by two Canadian entrepreneurs, Diego Lai and Maria Pacini, their mission is simple, to provide the best, most innovative solutions to their clients, to improve quality of life, protect human beings and valuable assets, to ensure that any person or object tracked with their cutting edge technology is as safe and secure as possible. In 2007, LiPAC invented the first wearable bracelet with cell phone and GPS for seniors. Today, their technology is used in everything from mobile healthcare to loan workers, fleet management, and law enforcement, and is exported to over 100 countries around the world. For LiPAC, innovation means developing the right technology tailored to the needs of specific industries. LiPAC and their employees' desire for continuous improvement and a vision for a safer, more well-protected future has led to their success. Accepting the Innovators of the Year Award for LiPAC Technology is Lisa Lai, uh, Executive Assistant to the CIO and CEO and User Interface Designer for LiPAC. There's a plan in all of this. <laughs> <laughs> <It's still you. laughs>
Uh, hi, thank you so much for having us here. It's a great honor to be here and to accept this award on behalf of the owners and the whole LifePack team. We are so excited and super grateful to be here and we just mainly want to say thank you to everybody who supported us, um, everyone here, and for this nomination as well and for the award. Um, I can't express how how excited I am and um, so the industry's been in business for 20 years and we've been traveling all over the world to different conferences showing our products so we're really really happy to be here and thank you so much. Congratulations again to Lifehack. So I'm Lisa Lai, I'm the executive assistant of Lifehack Technology Inc. in Richmond Hill. So it's a company, a GPS electrical engineering company for 20 years and we just received an innovation award by the mayor of Richmond Hill. We're all super, super excited. I received it on behalf of the CEO and the co-owner as well and um, on behalf of the whole Lifehack team. And they all worked really hard and our team is expert and dedicated and we're just very grateful and excited and um, we say thank you to everyone watching and to everybody who supported us for the nomination and to the mayor and just so many thank yous and so much excitement and uh, yes, I hope you enjoy the rest of it. Um, so how do you see this award? Is it encouragement or is it good for your business going? Oh yes, actually um, one of the main uh, reasons I got our company out there more well known was that all of the conferences that we've been to, um, worldwide conventions and so we showcased our products, um, show people how we can help them, and promote it more on social media, and through all of these uh, travel journeys and achievements that we achieved, uh, we um, ended up being nominated here, and I feel this is a very top nomination, and um, it really gets our top-notch class out there, as well as our high technology known to other people who are interested in doing business with us as well as our innovative so I know that you're the second generation, second generation of the company. You found, your parents found this company and you're trying to succeed and or, yes. or, or, carry the thought to move on. So how you see this, this young generation and also the company is a high tech company? How, the, how you merge up and you want to make it bigger and better? Oh, uh, for, do you mean um, for a younger generation yes. working in the industry? Yeah. Oh, it's a huge vital asset to have a younger generation within companies because um, as education increases, there's different types of different fields, there's more technologies, there's more projects, there's more ideas that were not there before present. And all of the younger generation is constantly submerged by that, whether it's through media, whether it's for school, or graduation, or um, university projects, or college work, or um, even uh, students or uh, young people that like to search on the internet and read news and everything. They are booming with new ideas and they're very active and um, I think it's really important to have a more younger generation um, combining ideas with the experts. That's a very last question. Now you are having the burden from your parents, all right? Do you think there's some pressure like to make and okay, so your company, your parents make create the company. You are trying to like in taking up the responsibility. Do you see that as a burden or responsibility or as an area for you to develop yourself? Um, I think more of an area to develop myself because they have their achievements and I'm very impressed and very proud to be their daughter. And in order you can do better in the future. Um, they they wish for me to do better. So and instead of pressure I feel more blessed to have so much trust in me so that encourages me more to go forward rather than uh, get nervous because I know they believe in me so I, I feel pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, good yeah, thank you. Thank you. Our final innovators of the year are Wisdom AI. Wisdom is a full-service enterprise virtual assistant solution that uses machine intelligence to deliver customer care over social, web chat, search, and IVR channels, giving businesses a single powerful platform to connect to customers, answer questions, complete purchases, and transact anytime using natural language. Wisdom's success in large part is due to their collaborative approach to innovation, from meaningful employee engagement, birthing new ideas and concepts, 
to the critical step of implementation, nurturing the best concepts into quality commercial grade products and real revenue. Innovation is part of Wisdom's culture and core values. Employees are encouraged to come forward with new ideas or improvements and the company holds events such as hackathons to help the creative process. One of their proudest moments to date is the securing of a multi-million dollar contract with a large enterprise customer beating out the well-known tech giants like Google, Amazon, Microsoft and Oracle. solely on the merits of the wisdom technology was deeply rewarding for the company. All of the staff at Wisdom are responsible for this win and for their success. Accepting the Innovators of the Year Award for Wisdom is President and Co-Founder Jeff Burnett. Okay, guys, let's Where are we looking really, first? Okay, so come on out just a bit, Jack. Right. That's it. <laughs> Right there is good. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So well, you're good. Right there. Perfect. We'll keep this uh, short and sweet. Um, first of all, I wanted to thank uh, Brenda um, for the help, you know, putting this together, but also the help that she's given our company over the years. This is the fifth company that um, I've started uh, in the Richmond Hill area and uh, you know, plan to continue doing so. Uh, we're about 80 people today. Uh, the company is five years old. And uh, as Brenda mentioned, we're focused in um, interacting with customers over digital channels. So we're trying to fix that problem of being on hold with a bank or a telco, getting transferred around and around. Our technology focuses on allowing you to interact with large brands very easily and frictionless. Um, so hopefully saving some of you uh, headaches out there. I um, want to say thank you to you know, all the employees that are here and, and that are not. Um, it's you know, in a company of our size, taking an idea uh, and, and really turning it into a product is a massive challenge and it, it requires lots of sacrifice, late nights, working on weekends and uh, so really appreciate everyone's um, you know, support over that process and the support of all their families uh, putting up with uh, the same. Um, and. Uh, you know, hopefully you can watch the journey as we continue to uh, you know, to build the company and to uh, some of the other big guys that are here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> We're very proud of your companies and honored that you have chosen Richmond Hill to be the base of your operations. Uh, as part of our recognition,